Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to do a really simple St. Patrick's Day themed manicure and this is what it's going to look like. Alright, so to start off with, I'm going to do this one on my opposite hand so you can see that it is a very easy one to do. And what I have on my nails so far is just a one layer of base coat. And then I have one coat of this um, orally polish. It's called Sheer Peach or Pesh, whatever. Um, this little mini bottle. And I've let that completely dry. So the next step is going to be to do the little green French tips. So I'm going to use my Sally Hansen Insta Dry in Lickety Split Lime. The reason I'm choosing this one is because it's a very opaque color, just like uh, French white would be. So, um, and I can cover this in one coat. So what I'll do is just get a, just a little bit of polish on the brush and just using the brush that it came with I'm just going to go kind of bump it right up to the line of my nail and create a tip. If you have trouble making steady lines you can um, use a very thin type of like paintbrush and paint the polish across or use an acrylic paint that would work as well. Um, but this is all I'm doing is just creating French tips with the green. And once that is on, I will let that com completely dry before moving on to the next step. Okay, so now that I have my green French tips on, I'm going to do a little stamping. We're going to use Bundle Monster plate number three, and I'm going to use this same four-leaf clover. I'm going to just use the big clover here for these four nails and then I will stamp all of them on my thumb. So I'm going to start that. I'm going to stamp it with Conad Special Polish in green. What I'm going to do is just place the polish on the one shamrock that I want to use. I'm going to pick that up with the small end of the stamper since it's just the small one. And I'm going to place that kind of on the outer corner of my nail so that the stem sort of crosses into the tip. See? Let me try another one. And they don't have to all be facing the same direction. And even if it goes a little off the edge of the nail, that's okay too. Just to change it up, I'm going to put it so that this one stem went, whoop, I got a little fuzz there. And see how I have a little bit of a glob right here? What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a Q-tip with some nail polish remover on it and just extremely gently just wipe that off and it comes right off. But you got to be gentle otherwise you'll start to take off the polish that's, you know, at the base of your nail here. Lastly, I'm going to do the thumb. I'm going to put the polish over all of the shamrocks on that one, scrape it off, and I'm going to pick it up with the large end of the stamper, and I'm going to place that on my thumb, going, I suppose, somewhat up the nail. So I'm going to start at the base and just kind of roll it on, and there I have those shamrocks or clovers, however you want to call them. Then we're going to go through and do a very quick and simple way of getting a little extra dazzle, like how you see here the sparkles in the nails. Rather than um, worry about gems, although if you have gems that would be fine too, I'm just going to take this glitter polish from Sinful Colors. This one is called Call You Later. I love this green glitter polish. It's so pretty. And what I'm going to do is just using the brush with some glitter on it, I'm just going to very gently 
just tap it right in the middle of the shamrock. And do the same on all the rest of them here. Because it doesn't have to be a perfect circle. It doesn't have to, you know, I'm not covering the whole the whole shamrock. I'm just doing it just so that I have a little extra glamour on there. Let's see, I've done, oops, I've done that on my thumb as well. Then we're going to just let that dry for a minute and cover it with top coat and it'll be all set. In fact, here is what the final look looks like. See, it's a little bit shinier with the top coat on and it protects the glitter and protects your French tips and everything. So that's your look. I hope that you guys like this one. This one's a nice and simple um, St. Patrick's Day design that you can whip up in no time, especially if you're in a hurry. And uh, I do hope that you like this one. This one's kind of fun. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.